Hi everyone, I've got a fun surprise video today. I have decided, okay, well, let's just back it up. I know a bunch of people have done Pan That Palette this year, and I really have wanted to, and Amber, um, the woman who kind of like started panning, she's panning the Naked Palette, and she's like almost done. It's incredible, and I know a lot of people have been inspired from her to pan a palette, and she said that we would, a lot of people, if you wanted to join in, to pan the Lurac Pro palette at the beginning of the year, and I am going to do that, except I will be starting today. So I decided to start mine a month early, um, just because I have this week of classes. I'm a student, a full-time college student, if you didn't know. So I have classes this whole week, and then starting next week, I have finals. And then after that, it's winter break, and I'll be going between here and seeing my parents and wherever. So I'll be traveling a lot over winter break, and I think just having one palette to use will make it a lot easier for me, especially with this last week of school. I've got a lot of, like, tests and stuff, and then I have finals. So I just, having one palette and not having to worry about, you know, anything would really help me, and I think it's a good time for me to just start. Um, I'm very antsy and excited and a little nervous to start, so... Without further ado, here is my Lorac Pro palette. I will, okay, I'm thinking about doing an update on the first of every month. Let me know what you think. I just feel like if I go a whole month, you'll see a lot more like progress in here versus if I did every two weeks, I feel like, I don't know. I like watching videos that have a bunch of updates because then I feel like I just get so antsy waiting for them, but I feel like the monthly ones, you get, you see so much of a difference. Um, so let me know what you think down below. Um, I'll definitely, you know, keep that in mind, what you guys want to see, because, you know, I'm making these for you guys to see, so <laughs> I might as well do what you want. But, um, yeah, so this is my Lorac Pro palette. I really, really do like it. I have used it some, but there's not, like, any major dips or anything like it. So let's just open it up and show you where I'm starting. So this is my palette. Obviously, you can see there are no major dips in here. I don't have any pans showing on any of these. So you do see some brush marks in here but nothing like crazy so if you are unfamiliar this top row here is all matte and this bottom row here is all like kind of shimmer or glitter um so I want to pan this palette the only stipulation I kind of have or like I don't I wouldn't call it cheating I mean this is my palette I want to get as much use out of it as I can and I'm going to change a little bit faith recently just started hers, Faithers K. I'll have her channel linked down below if you are unfamiliar. But she just started hers too and she mentioned something and I think I'm going to do the same thing. These four colors down here, this matte black, this matte brown, this light color, and then this deep purple, those are just shades I personally don't use too often. So my goal is just to hit pan on these four. Um, it could change. Maybe I'll fall in love and figure out how I like to use them, and I'll let you know if that changes. But right now, my plan is to finish up all the shadows from here over and then just pan these, or like hit pan on those four. So I'm going to quickly like go through the shades and kind of say how I think I'm going to be using them. Um, obviously, it'll change, but I just thought it'd be interesting to hear like my plan for it. Um, so here we go. So this is shade up here is a matte white. It's called white. Um, I use a matte like cream or white shade from my lashes up to my brow bone every single day before. I do it over my base but under my other eyeshadows. It just helps blend everything. So I do plan to use this shade for that kind of a thing. Um, I think because I use it every single day, I should be, you know, getting good use out of it and make some good progress. The same thing with this cream. This is called cream. It's just a little bit darker than white. I'll be doing the same thing with that. Um, this shade right here is called Taupe. This is a nice um, crease color for me. It is a little dark, so I probably will be mixing it with cream and like just mixing these two together. Um, and then if I, when I finish white, I'll use cream for the um, lash to brow. But my plan is to mix these two for a crease color and then I can use this on its own to deepen up my outer V. And I also wanna try this as like a contour or a bronzer just cause it's matte and it is a nice shade. So I'm gonna kind of experiment I know that if you use these, like, not only on your eyes, but on cheeks or whatever, you'll obviously use up more. So I'm going to try that. This shade right here is light pink. I can definitely see this being a nice transition shade for me. Also, I like to have, like, light pink right on the inside of my inner corner to really brighten up because I get really dark there. So I probably will use that for that. This shade right here is called Mauve. This is something I could definitely use on my crease if I want a more, like, pinky 
berry or if I'm going more plum look, I'll use that in the crease. This shade right here, Sable, is kind of like, it's like a warmer brown. And I can use this on my outer um, corner and I might mix it with cream also to lighten it up a little bit and I can use that as a little bit darker of a crease shade. Um, this shade down here is Espresso. This is the dark brown. I will be using this to set my liner um, when I use brown liner. So this one I just want to hit pan on and then this is black and I'm going to do the same thing. Just use it to set my liner. I don't use black shadows. I just don't, I use them to set my liner, but that's about it. So these two I want to hit pan on, but I am confident that I can finish these ones. So now let's go down to the sparkly row. This shade right here is called Nude. Um, this one I'll either use in my inner corner or as like a cheekbone highlight, or I can use this all over the lid. Same thing with this one. This is called Champagne. I've heard from people that this one is a little bit more chunky glittery, and I would agree. So this one probably I will be focusing on just to kind of get it out. Um, we'll kind of see... But I can definitely see myself using it on my crease, or not my crease, but on my lid and like highlight and that kind of a thing. This shade right here is gold. I have blue eyes and I absolutely love using gold on my lid. It just really pulls out the blue. So I will be using this on my lid, I'm sure. This one is light bronze. I can do the same thing. It's just a little bit less crazy of a gold. Um, and I really do like this one. So this one will probably be on my lid. This one is called Pewter right here. And this is such a gorgeous shade. Oh, I just, I love this. And I have done looks with this in the past, and I really, really like how it looks. So this one I don't think I'll have too much problem using up, just somewhere on my lid or something like that. This shade right here is Garnet. It is gorgeous. I really like this one. I can, um, I've used this one as a, like, liner on my lower lashes a lot, and I like it. And I also like it kind of, like, in the outer corner um, of my shadow look. So this is really pretty. This deep purple I also like to use, so like these three right here, Garnet, um, Pewter, and Deep Purple, I like to do an eye look with those. Um, so this one I'll probably use, but not as much. So I do have a couple purple liners that I'll probably, you know, whip out and use this to set them. Um, and then Slate, Ooh, this one is I'm scared of. I know Amber has made a bunch of videos about how to use Slate in, in the Nikki palette. It's called Gunmetal, but it's basically the same shade. And I've tried it. It's just with my blue eyes. This is like almost too blue. It just doesn't really look that great on me. So I probably would be using this smudged on my lower lash line. Like I said, this one is also one that I just want to pan, um, hit pan on. And then, like I said, so these four are ones that I just want to hit pan on. And the rest of these I want to use up. Like I said, if I find a way to really fall in love using these, and I think I can, I will try to use them all up. But you'll be, I mean, I'll let you know if I'm going to do that. So... Yeah, that's my palette. I am kind of nervous, but I'm also really excited. I think it's just going to be a fun adventure. So I also think I'm going to be doing maybe like a get ready with me once or twice a month using this palette and just, you know, different looks that I've been loving, that kind of a thing. So let me know if you would like to see that. And also let me know if you're okay with one month updates. I just think that I just think that there'll be more progress shown. So each of these shadows is um, 0.55 grams, so it's not even a full gram. I think it'll be pretty easy to go through. I want to finish it by the end of 2015. I think I can, um, no problem, as long as I stay you know, with this palette and everything. But I'm really excited to start, so wish me luck. Um, I will have an update January 1st, if not sooner. If you guys really want to see one in two weeks, I'll, I'll do that. But um, yeah, so that's everything I have. If you are panning a palette, let me know. Like I said, Faith just started hers, and then there's another woman here. What's her name? Rising Water, I think it is. I'll have her link down below. She started this palette maybe a month or six weeks ago, and she's already made amazing progress. So I will have hers linked down below, and you can kind of hear her story. But I know a lot of people are going to start panning this palette in January, so stay tuned for all of them. So, yeah, that's everything I have. Um... I'm really excited. So this will be in my weekly makeup basket for a long time. Um, I'm going to try for a while to just use this. And then I think as different shadows, you know, get used up, then I'll start pulling other things in. But like, I don't know, I might put a pigment in with it one week or something like that or a glitter, especially with the holiday season coming around. And my birthday is right at the end of the year. So kind of like to glitter it up on my birthday. But um for the most part, I'll be using this, and even if I do add in other shadows, I want to incorporate this into all of them. So that's everything I have for you guys. I'm super duper excited, and yeah, wish me luck. So thank you so much for watching. I hope 
you enjoyed this I am also in a project pan right now as well and I'll have another one starting at the beginning of the year so if you like any of those kind of videos I do do those and yeah so I will see you guys in the future thanks for watching and that's all I have so bye